Good morning, this is Sarah Romel Magdalas, your subject teacher for Practical Research 2. The first chapter of research paper is entitled, The Problem and Its Background. Its purpose is to introduce the problem and clarify important variables, its delimitations and its significance to the field of study. It has the following essential elements. Introduction, background of the study, theoretical framework or conceptual framework, hypothesis of the study, statement of the problem, significance of the study, scope and delimitation of the study, definition of terms, and last is the notes on chapter 1. Introduction, background of the study. The introduction is important in establishing the cognitive setting of the research. Here are the elements of an introduction background of the study. In the introduction, the rationale, the reason why the researcher decided to look for a solution to the problem. A rationale may include the narration of personal experience, a description of an article, a scene witness. It also includes the introduction of what the researcher is about to find. Here is an example of a research introduction. In this example, the research title is the effects of nicotine to the respiratory health of grade 11 tobacco users in the University of Nueva Caceres Bataan academic year 2018-2019. And in the introduction example, we can see that the researcher introduced what is their research all about by first giving some background about what is a nicotine, what is respiratory health is, what is a tobacco, as well as the effect of tobacco on the respiratory health of the users. Background of the study includes the following The setting of the problem The objective and purpose of the problem It also answers the 4 W and 1 H Which are Where is the study conducted? When is the study conducted? Why is the study conducted? Who are the respondents of the study? And how is the study conducted? Example of the background of the study. The title is the effect of nicotine to the respiratory health of grade 11 tobacco users of University of Nueva Caceres Bataan Academic Year 2018 to 2019. In the background of the study example, we can see that it gives us the setting of the problem as well as the objective and purpose of the problem, and it also answers the 4 W and 1 H. Theoretical Framework or Conceptual Framework A framework is defined as a set of ideas that provide support to something. Theoretical Framework is formulated from existing theories and serve as the foundation of the study. While well, conceptual framework is derived from a combination of theories or part of theories. One of the most common used paradigm is the IPO model or the input process output model. It is used when the research seeks to discuss a factor or a major variable that causes a problem, phenomenon, or transformation in the subject. Input, the variables that cause the problem. Process, is the method by which the variables are collected and synthesized. Output, is the outcome of the variable. Here is an example of a conceptual framework. Wherein, in this example, we use the IPO model or the input, the process, and the output model. Hypothesis of the study The research hypothesis states 
what the researcher expects to find. It is the tentative answer to the research questions that guides the entire study. Hypothesis of the study has two types, the null hypothesis and the alternative hypothesis. Null hypothesis used in statistics that propose that there is no difference between certain characteristics of the population, while alternative hypothesis is just an alternative to the null hypothesis. Here is an example of hypothesis of the study. The title of this research is The Digital Threats, the Impact of Cyberbullying to the Academic Performance of Senior High School Students in the University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan. In the example, it shows an alternative hypothesis as well as a null hypothesis. Statement of the problem The statement of the problem briefly addresses the questions you need to find. Here is an example of a statement of the problem. The title of this example is the impact of cyberbullying to the academic performance of senior high school students in University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan. In the example, it shows in number one, the profile of the respondents. Number two, the impacts of cyberbullying, either positive or negative. Number three, the impact of cyberbullying affects the academic performance of senior high school students in terms of the attendance, class discussion, project, school activities, participation, and examination, and an additional two questions. Significance of the study The significance of the study's purpose is to make clear why the study is needed to be conducted and it highlights how your research will be beneficial to the development of others. Here is an example of significance of the study. This example, the research title, is the impact of cyberbullying to the academic performance of senior high school students in the University of Nueva Caceres, Bataan. In the example, it signifies to the following, to the students, to the parents, to the school, to the researchers, and to the future researchers. Scopes and delimitation of the study The scope of the study is determined primarily by the selection of variables that the research study will focus on. While the delimitation of the study describes the various limitations that arose during the design and conduct of the study. Here is an example of the scope and delimitation of the study. Definition of terms The term being defined should have a special or unique meaning in the study. We have two types of definition, the conceptual definition and the theoretical definition. Conceptual definition are based on how the researcher may develop his own definition from the characteristics of the term defined, while the theoretical definition are based be taken from encyclopedias, books, magazines, and newspaper articles dictionaries, and other publication. Here is an example of definition of terms. In this example, we define the knowledge. The first one is for the theoretical term, and the second one is for the conceptual term. Notes on Chapter 1 all the references such as books, magazine, newspaper, and articles are written in this part. Here is an example of notes on chapter 1. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir Oak.